Today is Sunday, June 14th, and uh, things are coming along um, for the most part. <laughs> as always, some ups and downs, as you can see. Uh, yes, things are getting bigger. Um, and I have some buds on my beans. Bean buds. So those are, those are coming along. Um, I looked in here the other day, and I, I, for the first time I said, you know, that's, that's foliage. <laughs> it's not just a bunch of little sprouts. I have foliage. It keeps, everything's getting bigger. Um, some things not doing as well as I had hoped, still. Uh, you know, the leeks are growing, but they're just not growing that fast. Uh, same thing with the chilies. I mean, they finally sprouted last week, but they're just bitty, bitty, bitty things. So I'm not sure what's going on with those. Also, these favas, they sprouted in like three or four days, and then they just stopped. So um, I'm, I'm suspecting that they don't want to be wet and dry and wet and dry and wet and dry. So maybe what they need to do is be kind of... I'm just guessing, just guessing that maybe they need to be kept moister. Um, all the fish are very happy. The water's getting a little low. I get so much evaporation here on these dry 90 degree days that uh, I have to put in good 5 to 15, even 20 gallons a week to keep up. Um, as far as the top tank goes, my, I'm not even going to show you my lettuce. It's, it's not doing so well, and, and I had a kind of an ill conceived plan. Uh, for the raft, so I think I'm going to replace that whole thing with uh, some duckweed and maybe put some crawdads in there. Uh, I'm getting some good algae bloom, and I have a feeling I'm suspecting that the algae might be robbing uh, some of these plants down here of, of the, the the nitrogen. Um, and I've uh, read on on Travis Huey's forum all kinds of uh, nightmares about what happens when you get too much algae. So. Duckweed up on the top apparently grows so fast that it provides shade and prevents algae from really getting out of control. So I'm um, going to head to the pond <laughs> sometime soon and see if I can uh, scare up some crawdads and, and duckweed, and we'll see how that goes. But for one month, one month of growth, I think um, this is pretty impressive. One month and two days, and we'll see you again next week. Oh, and as a quick addendum, this is the tomato plant I bought at the nursery uh, that I've had growing in the soil. Uh, when I got it, the uh, tomatoes in the uh, aquaponics just barely had their tertiary leaves on them. So this is this is this plant from the nursery, and and these are their hydroponic cousins. I mean, I can't even. As you can see, these are are already not only much much bigger than the nursery plant. But the, the foliage is just much healthier, much greener. Um, and I've, I've historically, the last four years that I've been growing tomatoes in the garden, had great success with them. Um, so it's not like that plant out there is not doing well, it's doing fine. But these are doing, oh, so much better. They've already outgrown their cousins, and then some. So that's pretty cool. Well, here's a quick addendum to the June 15th update. Last night I decided I wasn't liking uh, what was going on with my lettuce beds. They weren't working out so well. So I went down to the pond and I got myself some crawdads. And uh, they have really cleaned up this upper tank quite a bit. I was getting quite a good buildup of algae and uh, and uh, leftover food. Cleaned out quite a bit of it. This might look bad to you, but it was really bad yesterday. Um, I was going to use them to take care of these couple of snails that I didn't have the heart to just kill. So they're going to be crawdad food. Uh, I'm, I was looking for some uh, duckweed, also to replace the lettuce. I couldn't find any of uh, any of uh, the two local ponds that I looked at. So I'll just keep looking. I'm sure it's out there. And uh, these crawdads are pretty groovy. They are pretty, and they're fat, and uh, they're looking pretty yummy. But I, I need them to uh, kind of help me with my system here. They're not dinner quite just yet. Maybe later.